Hello, I'm Mighty J Cosplay, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to turn from this to this. I start tracing my face using the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in shade all over gray. Along the way, I also mark some highlight and shading using the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil and shade all around white. For the teeth, I also trace them using the white eyeliner. I prime my lips with a thin layer of white lipstick and then I start filling the teeth using the Marin Paradise paint in white. Once it's done, I mix in some Marin Paradise paint in yellow at the root of each tooth. Basically, I pull the yellow body paint toward the center of the mouth and then I reapply white body paint and pull it toward the outside of the mouth in order to get some smooth gradients. Then, according to my reference picture, I shade half of each tooth using the Marin Paradise paint in Storm Cloud Grey. For each tooth, I'm shading the half that appeared at the right side of the screen. Be careful by mixing in some grey because you don't want to pick up too much yellow and spread it around as well. Then I outlined the root of some teeth of the bottom row using the Marin Paradise paint in dark brown and using a liner brush. Then I filled the gum using the Marin Paradise paint in light pink. Then I outline the teeth and fill the rest of the mouth using the Marin Paradise paint in black. Then I use the white body paint to fill the drip of saliva as well. Then I had the highlight around the mouth using the white body paint. Then I go around the white highlight using the Marin Paradise paint in lime green. This is the color that I will use for the rest of the face as well, for everywhere that is a light green shade. Then I go on the rest of the face and do all the softly highlighted spots using the Marin Paradise paint in lime green as well. So, according to the reference picture, it's like if the light source is at the left side of the screen. So, that's the reason why I'm applying more of the lime green body paint on that side of my face. Then, I start filling some part of the face that are not highlighted or shaded using the Marin Paradise paint in Amazon Green. To avoid losing track of all the different uh, areas that need different colors of body paint, I will fill with the Amazon Green body paint most of the part that is on the left side of my face, and then I will go back later to complete the right side. By the way, I know that I'm when I'm referring to the left side of my face in this video, it's actually the right side of my face when I'm doing my makeup, but I'm referring to the sides of my face as they appear for the viewer of the video. Also along the way, to avoid losing track of them, I go over some of the lines of the tracing using the Marin Paradise paint in black. 
They are all lines that will appear as black line in the final look mostly to get that kind of comic book style effect. Once it's done, I'm going over the places where I applied the lime green body paint with the Amazon green body paint and mixing them in order to get a less contrasting shade of green. I'm doing it this way in two steps in order to avoid losing track of the highlighted areas. Then I'm also re-outlining some part of the face using the Mirror and Paradise paint in black. Then I start to fill some of the shaded areas using the Mirror and Paradise paint in dark green. Also, you don't want to mix the colors too much together, you want to keep them pretty distinct to have really distinctive highlight and shading in order to get that comic book style effect. Then I continue applying the dark green body paint for the shaded areas and I'm also outlining some parts with the Mirror and Paradise paint in black as well. Since with this makeup you are filling different areas with different colors of body paint without blending them, one thing to look for with this makeup is areas that will miss body paint. So later on in the makeup, don't be afraid to use a tiny brush and do touch-ups and also look in the mirror and different views to make sure that you don't have spot with body paint missing. Once I'm done with all the shades of green body paint, I start the eye area by outlining it with the Mirror and Paradise paint in black and then filling most of the eye area using the black body paint. For the pupils, I put a dot of white concealer on my eyelids and then I verify the placement by taking a selfie. Then I use the red from the Makeup Forever flash palette to make a ring around it. Then I set the white concealer with a white metallic eyeshadow and I set the red makeup using a red shimmery eyeshadow. Then I verify the placement again by taking a selfie. I apply black eyeliner on my waterlines and then I outline the pupils using black eyeshadow and a liner brush. Then I fill the rest of the eye area using a black ink liner and I also set it with black eyeshadow. Once it's done, I go over that using a black gel liner and I will also set it with black eyeshadow in order to get a good coverage. For the teeth, I'm setting them using a white eyeshadow, then I'm reapplying some yellow eyeshadow at the root of each tooth, then I'm adding some white metallic eyeshadow on the highlighted part of each tooth, then I'm shading the other half using a grey eyeshadow. I re-outlined the bottom of the teeth of the bottom row using brown eyeshadow and then I outlined the rest of the teeth using black eyeshadow and a liner brush. I'm topping the white highlight with a white shimmery eyeshadow and then I'm applying a tiny line of a light green shimmery eyeshadow on each side of the white highlight. Then for the rest of the face, I'm setting each color of body paint with a matching color of eyeshadow. For the eyeshadows, yet again, I'm trying not to blend them too much, but here I have to cross the line sometimes from one area of color to the other in order to uh, make sure that I cover the spot that I could have missed uh, with the body paint so that I will be able to cover them with eyeshadow. At some spot I'm adding just a pinch of green shimmery eyeshadow as a highlight. 
then I'm realigning pretty much all the black lines using a black eyeshadow and a liner brush. And at the end, I'm setting the drip of saliva with white shimmery eyeshadow. And this is the final result. So I did a cosplay SFX makeup of Killer Croc from the Batman universe. Basically, I took the comic version of Killer Croc. So that's why it looked a little less realistic with uh, and really more cartoony with all those big bold black lines and those kind of unblended uh, color shades. So I hope you really enjoyed the video, if so please feel free to give a like and subscribe to the channel to see more cosplay SFX makeup tutorials and also cosplay SFX makeup tips and tricks. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye!